All right. Hi, Rita. Thank you for joining me today. And um, for those of you who might not know us, my name is Anna Gibbs. I'm the general manager of the Keller Williams Hudson Valley Group. And I'm joined uh, by Rita Gildersleeve, who just came in as the new team leader for our market center that is located at 15 Taylor Street in Kingston, uh, known as uh, Keller Williams Hudson Valley North. And that market center is growing rapidly and seeing great success. And now with uh, Rita in position as the team leader, I'm really excited about the future. So congratulations, Rita. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to this new role within the market center and yeah. working with our agents. Well, and you've worked hard for this opportunity. And uh, Rosemary Pilati, as many of you know, is our broker, um, our principal broker and owner of the franchise. Um, she and I have been talking with Rita for uh, several weeks about this next chapter, and we're thrilled and um, really um, so excited to see that you've grown. You've been with Keller Williams for how many years now? A little over six. A little over six. And you started as an agent, right? As a brand new agent. Yes, newly licensed. Yeah. Right. And actually, Rita and I met the first time you, you came to, um, we called it a career opportunity session, right? Where we have these events that I know Rita will continue doing uh, there, um, but it's, it's really where anyone who's thinking of getting a license can come and get information. And that's how we first met. <laughs> so funny, isn't it? Uh, I know. But uh, just an ad, yeah, for, for a potential new career, which is what I was searching for at the time. Yeah, no, it's so exciting when I think back that I had I had the privilege uh, I have the privilege of working with you and you know partnering with you and maybe in some cases mentoring you um, and how it started with you coming in as a brand new agent and watching you build your business and I mean it's your story so you should share you know you came in it was um, you know an opportunity for you to start a new new career as you mentioned and you did that while you were still working right. Yeah, my first year and a half, uh, about year and a half, a little bit less, I worked both my paralegal job, which is what I was doing when uh, when I came across the real estate opportunity and, and building my real estate business. So I am, uh, you know, I was responsible for paying my own bills and making my own way. And I, I felt that I needed to, for a little bit, build up a, a solid book of business and really learn the skills that needed to be learned when you're starting off, you know, a, a real estate business, which really is similar to starting any other small business. So, yeah, right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you built that business. You were the a rising star. You received the rising star award, uh, which is basically, you know, being the one to watch and, and being kind of the rookie of the year. And uh, we watched you grow this business. And then I don't know, a couple, well, what was it, three or four years ago, you came into another um, opportunity with us because of what we saw you build in your own business. You became the productivity coach, right? Yeah. Yep. So at the end of 2017, again, just I, I came in to teach a class in the market center. Anna, you probably don't even remember this. I came in to teach an Ignite <laughs> class, which is which is one of our cornerstone classes for our newer agents. It teaches you really throughout 12 sessions, everything you need to know about building a book of business through real estate. And I, they asked me to teach the class on listings, which quickly became one of my favorite classes to teach. So I came into to a little bit early and you were in our Middletown Market Center getting ready and you said, so oh, where do you see yourself, you know, where do you see your business growing over the next five years? And I said, well, I, the productivity coaching role interests me. I like the idea of being able to help other agents build big businesses for themselves and help them put systems into place that allow them to be profitable. And then, you know, the conversation just rolled, snowballed from there and turned into an opportunity as the productivity coach in our Hudson Valley United office, where I was, um, I held that role for two and a half years and coached over 100 agents during that time, including a few of the teams that are associated with us. And I really, uh, really learned a lot about working with real estate agents and the pillars of lead generation, marketing, business building that you need to have. And I've also been lucky enough to see so many of the agents that I've worked with 
build their own career paths within our, our systems as well, our systems and models. Yeah, it's so gratifying, isn't it? And, and you know, um, I love that story because it's a good example of the conversations that we have all the time at Keller Williams. It is about opportunity and it is always about looking ahead, you know, so it sounds like something that I would say uh, and always asking people, you know, what's next for you? Because goals are always about where you want to go and it's about creating that vision that you can work into and that's certainly what we've seen happen with you and and then what you turned around and were, were able to do with other agents and helping them do the same you know and so growth is is important to you i know that because i've come to know you well over the years why why is growth so important to you well i think that if you if you're not growing you're dying right like i haven't quite reached this perfect life yet. So the only way I'm going to get there is by continuing to develop myself personally and professionally. And, and I do have a vision. I think that really people that are growth minded generally have a vision for their life. And, and I do have one that from, from my own life that I would like to see happen. And so that in itself motivates me to raise my hands to opportunities and to um, you know, give back within the market center or really be clear on what I should do um, strategically to move me forward to living that life that I had always imagined when six and a half years ago, I was sitting in our training room learning about the opportunities that you have through selling real estate. So um, I'm not quite there yet. And I don't, I don't know that I'll ever be there, which is another good Hopefully not, right? I mean, if, I think we should always look for ways to grow. Right. And I think that, that, you know, you look what you look at what the next sequential opportunity might be, but overall, I mean, especially particularly at Keller Williams, there's always a next opportunity. There's always somebody that's thinking bigger than you. And that is a great, that's just what I love. One of the things I love most about our company is I can think big about my position here and then I can learn about somebody who took my position here and made this even bigger opportunity out of it. And that really is our, some of the things that keep me very motivated. And is, is that true for agents as well? Agents that are with us now, maybe agents who will be with us in the future, that same growth opportunity. And maybe not for someone who necessarily wants to work on the leadership team, but just in growing their own agent business. Yes, absolutely. I think that just like we have opportunities for people that want to get into leadership that on the agent side, there is unlimited opportunities really within our structure to build a massive real estate business for yourself from starting off as a solo agent to building a team underneath you to building a team that is then expanded into other locations. I mean, that when you start to think about that and some of the books of businesses um, that realtors at Keller Williams have built for themselves, there really is no limit to, to what's, what's possible. Yeah. So as we said, you're in a new position as the team leader, which I think being the productivity coach has really prepared you well because the team leader is, is still growing agents, businesses, and uh, where, you know, the productivity coach is working with our newest or newly licensed agents, um, the productivity coach is working with uh, really more established agents, usually in our top 20%. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think your coaching background has really you know, prepared you for this. So what are you most excited about in terms of being the team leader in a new market center too, right? So it's a new position and in a new and emerging market center. We launched uh, the market center officially in January. So what are you most excited about? Well, I, we are partnered with some really incredible real estate agents throughout Ulster and Green Counties. And what I'm really looking forward to is working with them on, like we were talking about, building out these massive opportunities that we have available to them. And I'm really looking, I'm really looking forward to, to that on a, on a bigger level. Like you mentioned, we are a newer market center, which means that a lot of our agents are new to the Keller Williams model, which excites me because that means that there's maybe something that I can help them see past what they are, what they might have thought was possible through selling real estate that can help them lead bigger lives, which is, which is ultimately, you know, my goal in the team leader role is to help agents really live bigger, better, you know, lives through our Keller Williams systems and models and coaching and everything else we have to offer. Yeah. You know, I was a team leader for seven years and um, it's so gratifying to see people grow and, 
meet and exceed their own goals and and see how their lives change because of that too from and, and certainly you see them you know make more money and, and the income creates new exciting things for them and their families yet i also have watched them grow as people i have had agents come to me over the years and you know express their gratitude for being in our company and coming over and how it's made them better parents, better partners and spouses. And um, to me, that that's the ultimate reward. So I'm looking forward to watching you start to experience that also. Um, so you are also a realtor. I mean, now you're focused on growing the market center. So you're not going to be active as an agent um, because your commitment is to the market center and the other agents' businesses. However, what is your, um, and this is just your opinion, what is your take on the market right now? The market is very busy. It is a great market if you have the listings. It is a tough market if you work primarily with buyers. And I, I think that there's always opportunities in any market, in a down market, in an up market, there's always opportunities. But what we're seeing right now is really unprecedented up in the Hudson Valley in terms of, of the real estate market. So Especially where your market center is, right? The upper Hudson Valley, Catskill area. Yeah. really high demand that people really want to move into the area. Yeah, I think when you look at people's um, basic needs, one of the, the highest one is safety. And I think with COVID and everything that has happened, there is a real sense of um, being unsafe in the city for many people. And that has created a very motivated group of home buyers that are looking for not only second homes, but also primary residences up here because of it being 2020 and technology being the way that it is. So many yeah. people now, when their bosses sent them home to work remotely are now seeing that they can have a smaller commercial footprint in the city, which can save employers money. Plus they're seeing that their employees are still being just as productive from working from home. And that is increasing people's ability to live farther away from maybe where their physical sure. office and I'm sure in addition to safety, there's other thoughts like space and just being able to enjoy, you know, uh, we have, we, we're spending more time at home. So they want that space to enjoy, you know, sitting outside or doing recreational things outside that may be different than what they're used to and in it's a more fun. dense area. And it's much more affordable. I mean, compare when you talk about somebody's spending, um, you know, their the price ranges that is affordable for somebody in the city is a, a little bit different than somebody up here, which also creates unique challenges in the market for the local local home buyers and sellers, certainly. Um, but it's also an, an opportunity for people from the city to be able to buy something. A lot of when I was um, heavily in production, a lot of the people that I were working with had money they're making good income they have some money set aside but they can't afford a two million dollar two-bedroom apartment in manhattan they can't yeah. they're priced out of brooklyn even now so right. what are they doing with the money that they have and they're well qualified and they have good jobs well up here they have much higher spending power than they would in north jersey or long island even and i think that sure. that's also fueling us specific segment of, of the population to want to live up here, which has created very high demand for listings, multiple offers. We're hearing from our agents in our office that they're getting sometimes 12 to 15 to 20 offers on properties very rapidly. So it's really has created an interesting market and we'll have to see what happens over the next six to 12 months, but I don't see demand going down anytime soon. So definitely the right time for agents to be in this business. Yes. If they're focused on the right activities, right? So yeah. what what are, you know, just quickly, what are, you know, a couple of things that in your consulting and coaching of agents, uh, what are some of the conversations that you have at Keller Williams around, you know, what priorities need to be in place as an agent? So what we definitely focus on is taking listings, right? We know that the, pers the person who holds the listings has market share in the area. They also have marketing collateral. So now they have something that buyers are genu genuinely interested in. And what we know from studies uh, is that if you list a house, you can potentially get four closings out of it, right? So take one listing, get paid four times. That's a really good return on investment time-wise and just money-wise. Right. So what that looks like is selling the listing, finding a buyer for the listing. And in this market, if you're finding a minimum of two other buyers, 
I would say you're finding 10 buyers for, for a listing. That's how hot the demand is. And so what we're really focusing on with our agents and what our agents are really focused on is how do we get in front of home sellers and show them the marketing that we're able to do? Um, right before our call today, I wrapped up a class where we went through the entire marketing package that our agents have access to, to provide through our end-to-end -end consumer platform, which is called Command. It's part of the technology package our agents have access to. And from start to finish, they can really provide sellers with a polished presence and marketing pieces that do get homes sold fast and for a top dollar. So that's really what our agents are focusing on. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about the education that is available at Keller Williams. I mean, certainly, um, you know, this is an opportunity for our viewers to get to know you, to get to know the Market Center. Uh, I think that we, I'm sure, because we'll put this out there on our social uh, channels, that we're going to have possibly some consumers looking at this. Uh, and agents too, and some of them may be looking at options, I don't know, but just just to, um, I think, kind of open the door, the front door to Keller Williams and, and help people see a little bit more about our business model and our culture. Education is a big part of what we do uh, and the support that we provide agents. And, you know, of course, there is a lot to offer and support an agent in just becoming a better agent and learning the business, um, certainly when they're new or emerging in the business. Yet, there's so much more that we offer. Can you just talk a little bit? Um, Cause I know you've been very involved in the education planning calendar, planning the calendar every month. So what are some things that we do to really help the agents grow both personally and professionally? So we have a very robust training calendar that's available to our agents. It's actually available to any agent in the area that if you want to come take a class with us, just let me know and I'm more than happy to get you registered and signed up. Right now, just as an aside, we are doing everything on Zoom. So it's never been easier to come and take a class and learn. Oh, right. And we pivoted very rapidly when everybody went home. We didn't just cancel everything and say, well, you know, good luck. We really said, okay, our agents need us more than ever right now. And so we changed everything over to being completely virtual and we're seeing very high attendance in, in our classes. So in a general sense, just from a 3,000 foot overview, we have anywhere between five and 10 classes per week for our agents. And what we really focus on is business models. So how do you grow your business? What does your business, what do your business systems need to look like? And then how can you use um, time management tools to kind of, you know, hack your way into being hyper productive? We also have classes that like we were talking about at the beginning, aren't just on what do you do now, but how do you really envision your bigger, your, you know, the next step for your real estate business. And we have classes around business development. And then we always have classes around really tying that into how does your business fund your perfect life? So how do you take what you're doing with your real estate business and not just sell real estate for selling real estate sake, but use the money that you're you're earning to create bigger opportunities for yourself, both both personally and professionally. And so we have 68 classes every week. Uh, we have a, an online website that I, we can give. It's each uh, training.com if anybody wants to check it out and take a class with us. And our agent- HV, It was hvgrouptraining.com? K, K -W oh, K-W. I should know this. K-W-H-V-grouptraining.com. Yeah, yep. And so it, go in and take a peek. We are working on a really exciting, so I've been on the education committee. It's another unique thing about Keller Williams is we have committees and an agent leadership council that is in, um, that works with the, the leadership team to make sure that everything's win-win between the agents and, and leadership. And I'm not to interrupt you, that in itself is pretty um, unique, right? Where the agents um, have a platform to collaborate with those of us in leadership and you know, we feel as a leadership team, we go to work for the agent, right? It's a very different relationship. And the agents are providing us with feedback and thoughts around what we should be doing to make the market center a better place for them to work from, right? Yeah, so the classes, so tying into that, the classes that we have on the education calendar aren't necessarily what me and Anna want to see. It's what the agents are asking for. So we're in constant communication and saying, what are you seeing right now? And we pivot quickly. Like we're seeing that people need to be taking listings right now. So we're very listings heavy. August is going, to, we're going to start an entire series around how to lead generate for listings, how to market listings, how to create listing systems, how to handle objections, how to sell listings, the post-closing system. I mean, everything from start wow. to 
because that's what's applicable right now. Yeah, and and so, you know, you in your case, right? You started with us as an agent, a new newly licensed agent. You don't have any other comparisons, really, to other than the experience you've had at Keller Williams. Why? Uh, why did you choose KW? Is it for some of the things we just described or other things? Yeah, I well, so a couple of things. I wanted to definitely have training, access to training. I enjoy learning. I'm always trying to learn something new. And so I just saw that there was training involved. Anna knows me. I'm like a systems person. Anything, <laughs> anything that comes up, if I can put it into a system, I am like happy and, and content. And Keller Williams really does have systems for everything. So the other thing was... And I'm just going to say this. The good thing about Keller Williams is it works for people like me too. I'm not going to create the system necessarily. I may have some good ideas on the vision of it, yeah. uh, but they have systems I can plug into that are proven to work too, which is great. And we have the model so you can hire people that give yes. you... Yes. <laughs> which is also... Everybody awesome. works in their strength zone. It's all good. Right, right. So... One of the things that you mentioned actually at that career night was the Millionaire Real Estate Agent book, which is the red book we call. Yep, I'm sure you're grabbing yours. I have a stack here. <laughs> yep. So it's, uh, you can't find a Keller Williams agent without in, it with not being in reach of the MREA usually. But really, yeah. that is, that is a, it's a business book. It really That's is a book, right? Yeah. yeah. It really is a reference guide. And so you had mentioned that at the career night. And I went home and bought the book and read it. And it wasn't so much like the nitty gritty systems, but just like, this is the, the construct of a real estate business and, and who wrote it, Gary Keller. I mean, how could you go work at a company for, for somebody else that, and then try to recreate the wheel of what it already looked like was a pretty surefire way to build a real estate business. Yeah. I mean, it works because, you know, KW became the number one real estate company in North America. And that's where we've been for the last couple of years, several years. And that's just, that's not just an agent count that's in production yet. You know, it's interesting. I just had this conversation with someone uh, this morning yet. It's not that we're resting on our laurels either. You know, we're, we, and, and, you know, just to plug a little KW love, you know, this is a company that's very innovative and is always looking into the future, far into the future. And I think that back to what's happened over these last several months, and, you know, something no one could really see coming. I mean, do you remember how optimistic you were on January 1st of 2020 about yeah. this being the year of vision? Now, I still choose to maintain my optimism, yet yeah. did anyone see what came to us in March? I mean, no. So I think, though, because of what we have been taught and what is available to us, that, and because we are a company that was really built during a shifted market to begin with back in the 80s. It was a very difficult and challenging market. We're just better positioned at times to manage adversity and meet challenge. And certainly, um, I, I want to say I'm proud that, you know, we've been able to launch this new market center and, you know, see the growth. At this time, when we're recording this, we're in the top five of all the brokers in Ulster County. That's pretty incredible. Yeah. Um, so, so I'll just kind of springboard from there. Um, what what are your, um, well, bigger than hopes and dreams, what do you anticipate for the future of this market center? I really, uh, I, we are partnered with top producers in Ulster and Greene County. I mean, if you look at our roster, we have, we have people that are doing a large book of business. And with that being said, I'm looking forward to having some of our rock star agents continue to build out their teams. We are a place for teams. We have a structure and an environment that supports an agent who wants to be a business owner and get leverage through having admins and buyers, agents, and listing specialists. So I'm looking forward to... Just, I'm sorry to jump in very quickly on that and hopefully not break your train of thought. So if someone's watching uh, who's in real estate and doesn't have a lot of knowledge or experience about how teams work, can they reach out to you and you help them with that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Just because somebody might be listening and not be clear, and I know we're going to run out of time. So yeah. I want to make sure you get to finish your thoughts on it. Yes, if there's anything that catches anybody's ear, please call or text or email me, um, and I'm more than happy to continue a conversation or have a conversation geared towards your specific scenario and what you envision for your life. Because we're talking a lot in big, broad concepts, right, obviously, and, and I think that also one of the benefits of, 
of my job is that I get to consult with agents one-on-one -on -one and hear their particular business plans and then create them a customized plan. Because as uh, like we're saying, like there's, it's great to run a team, but not everybody wants to run a team. So that's no, right. That's the other side of the coin. It's still a company for any agent at any level. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to though in the office, continuing to help our agents um, grow their businesses. I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, welcoming new, new agents, newly licensed and other people that, that decide that maybe they would like to align with our business systems and helping them get up, get up and running. And really I'm looking to make an impact on the market as a whole up here in uh, the Northern uh, Hudson Valley area. That's awesome. And I think it's also good to mention that as a company, a uh, local and national company, um, we also look to make an impact on the community too. And we are very philanthropic and, and do what we can to support our neighbors and, and come from contribution. Do you want to just talk a little bit about that too? Sure. So um, going back to how I mentioned that we have different committees, we have an education committee. Another committee we have is the fundraising committee. And our, our model really is give where you live. Our agents, real estate agents are the pillar of a community, right? They are. They're one of the most important aspects. You're helping people buy the home where they're going to live. So we're very community minded and we're always looking to give back um, to organizations. At the beginning of um, earlier this year, we gave back to People's Place locally in Kingston. We gave to Matthew 25 in Greene County where we raised funds for them. Uh, and we have other charitable endeavors that we have planned through the year with our fundraising committee. In addition to our national day of giving, which is called Red Day, where we all volunteer and take a day and give back locally again to having a day of service. That's awesome. And you know, I just want to take a moment um, because I have uh, been working uh, with you and other people in our company for a couple of years to bring Keller Williams uh, to Ulster County uh, and Green and Columbia counties as well. And uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's in the real estate industry and thank you to everyone in the communities at large who have welcomed us and uh, who I know are looking forward to collaborating and working with us. And maybe even, uh, you know, some agents who are looking for a different opportunity may want to partner with us. Um, however that is, whatever uh, the relationship is, it's just, um, it's exciting to see it. It's exciting to feel uh, the growth and, and, the, and the opportunities stemming from uh, this new location that you're sitting in this morning. How do you like your new office? I love it. I'm particularly liking both of my bouquets of flowers. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a lot of congratulations in your new position. That's great. It's fun stuff. And uh, so just to, uh, as we wrap up this conversation, which has been great, um, your new office is at 15 Taylor Street in Kingston. And of course, we are being very cautious and following all of the protocols around uh, safeguarding our agents, the consumers that we might need to service, as well as our staff with, you know, precautions uh, around personal safety with, you know, this COVID pandemic. Um, so it's not as full as it would normally be, uh, but I'm sure that'll change soon into the future. Uh, however, um, we have just under 5,000 square feet in that location, and um, it is really going to be a great place for our agents uh, to call home base mm -hmm. and uh, for us to be able to run our operations in that part of the Hudson Valley. So, um, and it's exciting to see that you're there and uh, just moved in a couple days ago, really. Yeah, yeah, it's been exciting. And we've had agents popping by with oh, good. closings and it's been, it's been really nice to, of course, safely, but you know, just see people through the window, through the yeah. door, you know. Yeah, we, for sure. Yeah, so if anyone's interested, I'm sure we can also um, put out some virtual tours of the office as we're, you know, decorating and filling the spaces and, and finishing. There's a little construction going on on the second half, but um, it's really exciting. And uh, we're looking to, you know, be here for the long term. And um, I know, Rita, you have a long career with us, and I wish you so much success. Um, I thought this was a great conversation to get to know you and some of the visions we have. I know it won't be long when we become the number one real estate office in market share there. And, you know, that is the goal, right? Because, you know, what does being number one mean to you? Maybe that's a good way to close this out. You know, 
I'm never somebody that just wants to be number one for number one's sake. What I think that really means is that we have agents living big lives. Mm. Our agents really are living big lives. They're, they're, they're reaching their goals. They're profitable and they're growing business businesses with us. You know, it, it's, that's, what's important to me, really. I mean, when I think about the new team leader position and what, I, what I've enjoyed mo most, which is what I shared with you when I raised my hands with interest in the position was that when I looked at what I was doing every day, what I enjoyed most was really consulting with the agents that I was coaching and helping them. And now I am getting an opportunity to do that on a bigger level. And I just am really excited for that. And so being number one, really, that's what, what that would mean to me is that our agents really are living big lives here in that, here in Ulster, Green and Dutchess counties. Beautifully said, that's a great way to end. So I'll let you get back to your day. Thanks so much for having, uh, making the time for this conversation. And uh, I'm glad that some people got to know you today or got to know you better today. And uh, good luck with everything. I know it's not even luck, just continue doing what you're doing. Uh, you are surrounded by a great group of agents there. So uh, congratulations again, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, thanks. All right, Rita, take care.